gentlemen, thanks for joining us here at the uh, Border Ranch Neighborhood Council. We're going to be counting the ballots right here at the end of the election. So, before the polls closed, we went out and made an announcement 10 minutes in advance, and then again 5 minutes in advance. Then we swept one more time before we closed the doors to any potential voters. And so we gave everybody ample notification that we're closing the polls. Then we closed the doors and gave everybody a chance to vote. Then we cleared the room, put the ballots in the center of the room, and then reset the room for the count. So we've got tables with two people at each table. One person is going to call it out, and the other person is going to record the vote. This is a quiet room now, which means that nobody will be speaking once I stop speaking. Um, and there'll be a quiet room. There'll be observers. There might be media. And in either case, they'll sign in, and there are rules over there posted on the walls. They can observe. They can take notes. They can't eat, use their cell phone, make any comments, interrupt, protest, ask questions, make any noise whatsoever. It's a quiet room. Only three people in this room will be making any noise whatsoever. It'll be the person calling off the names. You'll develop your own rhythm. One of you will be calling, and one of you will be uh, making the tick marks. And you'll have a tally sheet in front of you that matches the ballot. So the person calling will take a ballot from a stack of ballots that are face up. You'll call, <coughs> and then you'll move it face down to one side, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, which way you move. You're left-handed, right? No. Oh. Just left. Liberal left. Liberal OK. So um, we're going to open this box in front of the observers, the ballot box. We're going to put all the ballots in the center of this table and we're going to sort them. There's only one ballot in this particular election, so we're just going to stack them up into three stacks, and then we're going to divide them into the three tables. Face up. So face up ballots haven't been counted. Face down ballots have been counted. You'll move them from one pile to another pile. A few things are going to come up. You're going to take a ballot, and you're not going to be sure what the person's intention was. Did they vote? Did they just accidentally make a scratch and didn't mean to vote? If you have any questions whatsoever, you just stop and raise your hand. The person that's supervising the room will come over, and now there's three people so that you can discuss it quietly. Is this a vote, yes or no? So if you're unsure whatsoever, the three of you will make a decision. Okay. So some folks are going to put an X on it. Some folks are going to scratch it, and sometimes it's inconsistent, and sometimes it's consistent, but you'll take a look. So that's one of the first reasons that you'll stop and just raise your hand. In addition, sometimes when a person's calling the vote, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a pattern going on, okay? So it'll be Tom, Dick, Harry, Tom, Dick, Harry, Tom, Dick, Harry. And your hand will start to get a little bit of a rhythm going. It'll go Tom, Dick, Harry, Tom, Dick, Harry. And on the next ballot, it'll be Tom, Dick, and you checked Harry. But there was no Harry. So what do you do? Stop. Just say stop. And at that moment in time, the person watching will come and watch. And now you've got an extra vote. What do we do? So to the left of the name, you'll put a little tick. And that indicates an overvote. The next time that person gets a vote, you'll cross it, and it'll be a little plus sign, or a little X, depending on how you're angling. You'll have used up that extra vote. You'll never, ever scratch anything out. Okay? You'll never ever uh, make any marks other than when you're getting, when, you're, when the, there's a call for a vote. And if you overvote it by, for, by accident, you'll just put a tick on the left and then you'll use it up. So on the left, I'll see that, and the, your observer will have been notified that we have an overvote. Okay? Um, so you'll count until you're done, and then you'll have a stack of ballots and a tally sheet. And at that point, you can just let the poll manager know you're done, and we'll just quietly wait until we get all three tables done, and then we'll put the uh, tally sheets together, and we'll tally the three tally sheets. We'll secure the ballots and, tally, and, and consolidate the tally sheets into the canvas of votes. The canvas of votes gets posted here, and then we'll also um, uh, release it digitally immediately, okay? So pretty much that's the uh, tally process. We'll open this once we've opened the room. And if at any time something is making it difficult for you to do your job, you'll just raise your hand and let us know. It might be some noise. It might be the air conditioning. It might be you need some water. It might be you need a break. But nothing leaves the room once we start counting. So if you need to leave the room, you'll leave the table as it is, and nobody will do anything to the table. Okay.